All right, good morning, peoples. Let's jump into Coney. I'm going to do Coney and Misty separately, but I'm going to move through these pretty fast today. So um, what happened yesterday? Well, coin was down $8, not quite $8, 2.84. So on Coney, we were only down 1.71. Kind of interesting that they got 500,000 new shares, okay, but they did not buy anything. They didn't put any new trades on. So I think they're in, well, I, I, you know, this Bitcoin conference that's going on that has some key speakers in the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think, I, I can't seem to find the agenda for the speakers that I want to, but I've been fairly busy. Um, so I find it interesting. I do know one thing. I think coin through Coney at Eomax really wants to pay out and get this 100% return. So they could be setting on the money. <coughs> Excuse me. I do think they'll deploy it, though. So they're not just saving it to pay. But when I look at their cash, they're up like 10.5 million. So when you don't, now I've seen them not put a trade on for a day and then put a trade on. Um, but it is bringing up a little interest from my perspective. Um, so let's look at the weeklies. As a reminder, they're all in one strike, right? We're not laddered. You know, I've drawn this here because in general, I think if we get up to 275 and this inverse head and shoulders and we break, that's measuring to 350, which brings us in to the next chart, longer chart. This is a six month. This is a multi-year. We get up to 350 again and then go sideways and we have a cup with a handle, right, which is similar to an inverse head and shoulders. Um, and that could take us, the difference there is that measures up from 350 and 50 on the bottom to 650. So, you know, that's probably 150 or 200,000, and it may take time. This might be over the next year and something, right? But I see those kind of targets out for a couple hundred thousand in 18 to 24 months in BTC. So why not in Coinbase? A lot of the Ethereum um, e ETFs have been launched and had some already. So we're all laddered here with three days to go at 6.74. Normally, I'd say that's good. Um, but I kind of don't know what to expect right now, to be honest. Uh, let, let's just see. I, I don't have a gut feeling either way, really. So holdings always tells us a lot. So with that move down, we just flip the script a little bit, right? We're down to 26 on our synthetic positive, but we're down to only 26 million. Where were we before? Well, we were 49 million yesterday. And then 25 before that, and then a minus 48. So we've come a heck of a long way. Um, what's Bitcoin doing in the pre-market with, you know, 30 minutes to go, it's up 830, which sounds big for most things. But when you're at 66,390, it's 1.26. So Coney's showing 2073 by 2083 in the pre-market, which is up anywhere from 7 cents to... 16 cents. Uh, you know, you always have a bigger spread in the in the pre-market like this. So, you know, we could be up. The good news, look at this. Look at our weekly. Yesterday, we were losing on the weekly, I believe. Yeah, this was $5, right? 2025. So this was like 15 to buy it back, right? So big difference. Whoops, 2025, Bruce, not a nine. Well, the nine is next to the zero on my keyboard. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I got to talk to myself sometimes, right? Okay. So we could buy everything back for six 
that we collected 13 million. So we're getting better. On one hand, we made millions, and on the other, we lost, right? We lost a little bit more there uh, on the synthetic. And it's not a re neither one of them are a real loss because at the end of the day, this comes available on Friday, right? Wednesday isn't going to offer us much. Um, and they won't roll this till they need to, to, to get some money because I think those are out there uh, in time. Yeah, 816. So they got 24 days, something like that. Uh, okay, so let's go to the payouts because I want to do move through this. All right. So payouts. All right. So we got a, some complexity. So yesterday I was showing something like 87 cents, a little bit more actually, because this number, I think, we had 49 and I was showing 17 on the weeklies to buy them back. Well, now we can buy the weeklies back for six, but we're only showing 20. So I used 26 minus six, right? And then I said, okay, I've got to distribute and figure that out. So 32 divided by 36.9 will actually that's 37.4 now, I think. So, oh, I think this flipped back. Sorry, guys. Yeah, something happened. I fixed this, and then it flipped back on me. So I don't know why that happened. 37.4. Oh, and then I have to do, yeah. Okay, so we got 53 cents that we've got in value here. I expect those weeklies very likely. Remember, if we go all the way to 275 from 257, right? We're trading at 257 and we have to go all the way up to 275. So that's 18. So that's going to take this back up to 50, 60 million and we could still buy, you know, win this. So that would be interesting if we go up there. So all of a sudden, what's our available funds? Just on this week, what's a possibility? If we don't run by the 75, well, the possibility is that we end up at about 60 here. In that range, and then we don't have to buy anything back. And now we're looking at a number like this. So now we got a dollar sixty. So that says a dollar range, and I think Coney really wants to pay us a dollar twenty-five, a dollar forty, because I really think they want to hit that twenty-dollar return number. So they don't mind paying an extra twenty cents or something, and just take it out of the next one and go hooray! Right, we got there in eleven months of payments. So I think it's a big enough deal for them. NVIDIA's going to hit their full return, but guess what? It's going to take NVIDIA, or has taken NVIDIA 15 months, right? Misty's going to come along very likely unless something terrible happens in Bitcoin and will eclipse Kony, right? So these are interesting. I try to give you as many takes on the money. We're going to get paid something, and, and this is only this week. Remember, we still got two more weeks to collect. But I don't want to lose any of this, even though that's a loss. That counts at that $13 million, right, that we're already showing here. So I really don't want to lose that one. That sets us back. So that's the story on the payouts, guys. You know, if we get up near that 275 and don't go buy it, we keep all of this money, and then we have this synthetic with another $1.60. Right, so that makes this, you know, 90 cents. And then we're going to write the following week and, and all that. So they may not have to give us anything. So let's see. So that's all I got on Coney. Hope that helps, guys. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Have a great trading day ahead. Have a great work day, golf day, babysitting your grandkids watching your child at home, whatever it brings you. Bye for now.